from the Sony Pictures Studio, this is Jeopardy! Thanks, Johnny. Welcome to Jeopardy! Have fun, and good luck to all of you. Let's see if you like these first round categories. Business terms. Famous Eagle Scouts. Saturday Night Live alumni. Food and drink. State superlatives. And our last category ends in E-T-T-E. Player one. Audio player that came between reel to reel and CD. Player one. You're correct. Don't ever play the Russian version of this casino game. Player one. Yes. A painter uses it for his paints. Player two. Right you are. Player two. Famous Eagle Scouts for 100, Alex. This Eagle Scout film director depicted Indiana Jones as a Boy Scout in The Last Crusade. Anyone? SNL alumni for 100, Alex. In 1998, he hit the big screen as Dr. Doolittle. Player one. Exactly. Player one, your turn. Howdy Doody was one of these, so you had to pull the right strings to get him to do something. Player one. That's it. Last name of acting sisters Rosanna and Patricia and Grandpa Cliff. Player two. Yes, indeed. Player two, you choose. Give me business terms for 100. Sensible consumers clip these to get sense off. Player one. You 
got it. Player one. Cappuccino is this coffee drink mixed or topped with steamed milk. Player one. Yes. To make red eye gravy, you need a well cured one of these meats. Player three. Definitely. Okay, player three. State superlatives. For 100, please. This state with the most people is home to the largest living tree. Player one. That's right. Your choice, player one. It's traditional to cut this religious symbol into the top of Irish soda bread. Player one. Right you are. Boil these tubers in salted water and you'll have the German dish Salzkartoffeln. Player one. Yes. For centuries, the Japanese have been using the maitake, a type of this fungus to improve overall health. Player one. Right you are. With about 1,040 people per square mile of land, life in this most densely populated state is a real garden party. Player one. No, that's not right, sorry. Answer a video daily double. Player one, please make your wager. This beef state is a leading producer of commercial red meat and great northern beans. Player one. That's incorrect. The nation's highest flat top mountain, Grand Mesa, is in this state. Player three. Well done, yes. If you would, player three. Famous Eagle Scouts. 
for 200 This Eagle Scout and former Entertainment Tonight host trained on the piano as a youth. Player two? Yes. Player two? Famous Eagle Scouts for 300, Alex. In 1927, this president seen here became an Eagle Scout of Grand Rapids Boy Scout Troop 15. Player three? Definitely. Player three, what will it be? Business terms. For 200, Alex. It's the boating term used when the government comes to the aid of a sinking business, like Chrysler in 1979. Player two. You're correct. Your choice, player two. Business terms for 300. A firm that buys and sells other firms, or part of the name of Janis Joplin's 60s band. Player three? That's right. If you would, player three. SNL alumni for 200. She's played Dr. Mary Albright on TV's Third Rock from the Sun. Player two? Exactly. Player two? SNL alumni. For 300, Alex. In 1991's Father of the Bride, he played wedding planner Frank Egelhofer. Player three? That's right. Okay, player three. Famous Eagle Scouts. For 400, Alex. As a youth, this commander of Apollo 13 was interested in scouting and rocketry. Player two. Nice try, but that is incorrect. Player three. Definitely. Famous Eagle Scouts for 500. This Boy Scout and former Secretary of Education published The Moral Compass in 1995. I'll take business terms for 400. Term for the amount a retailer adds to the cost price of a product. It may not be all profit. Player one. Yes, indeed. Player one? A factory's manual labor is blue collar, and these are steel collar. Player two? Oh, that's incorrect. Is that it? Anyone?
The deepest gorge in the United States is this western state's Hell's Canyon. Layer three. That's it. Layer three, what will it be? SNL alumni for 400. This African American comic hit the streets in Lethal Weapon 4. Layer 3. You got it. And to finish off this round. This one-time regular got an Oscar nomination for her role as the frustrated fiancé in In and Out. Layer three. Definitely. Let's take a look and see how everyone's doing after the Jeopardy round. Player three, you're in the lead. Well done. Player two, you're not too far off the lead. You're in last place, player one, but you do get to start things off in double jeopardy. Let's move on to double jeopardy. There are two daily doubles awaiting you on this board. Let's get started. Let's get to the categories for Double Jeopardy. Children's Literature, G Movies, Critters, Body Language, Men Behaving Badly, and finally, Colonies. Player One, your turn. The way to a man's heart is through this body part. Layer one. Yes, indeed. Digital body part used when hitchhiking. Player one. Exactly. Answer, the Daily Double. Player one, please make your wager. When you're charged a great deal of money for something, you pay through this. Player one. Definitely. It means a race too close to call, especially in horse racing.
Derived from the Bible, it immediately follows an eye for an eye. Player one. No, I'm sorry. The hot dog takes its name from a 1906 cartoon depicting this dog on a long bun. Anybody? They ensnare their prey in silk, then finish them off with poison dispensing fangs. Layer two. You got it. Your choice, player two. Colonies. For 200, Alex. Over thousands of years, colonies of these marine polyps can become giant reefs. Player one. Ooh, sorry. Player two? You're correct. Colonies. For 400, please. A colony of these creatures in San Antonio's Bracken Cave contains 20 million individuals. Player one? That's right. Player one, what'll it be? Types of bear include the brown, black, and this one, whose name means streaked with gray. Player two. Definitely. Player two? Let's do critters for 800. This lizard monster of the Southwest is the USA's largest poisonous lizard. Player one. Regrettably, no. Player two? That's right. Critters for 1,000. In Sanskrit, this speedy African feline's name was Chitraka, meaning speckled. Player one? Well done, yes. Player one. Because of the mysterious disappearance of its residents, Roanoke Island became known as this colony. Player three. You're correct. If you would, player three. 
Men behaving badly. For 200, Alex. In outlaw lore, this kid is often paired with Butch Cassidy. Player one. Yes. Player one, what'll it be? Closely related to cockroaches, they are the colony residents seen here. Player one. No, that's not right. Sorry. Player three. Exactly. Player three, what will it be? Colonies. For 1,000. By 700 BC, these people had established Mediterranean colonies at Utica and Carthage. Player three. Yes, indeed. G movies for 200. This 1993 Bill Murray hit is the perfect video to watch over and over again on February 2nd. Player one. Right you are. Player one, your turn. Maurice Chevalier sang Thank Heaven for Little Girls in this film with a woman's name for a title. Hey, dude, this 1959 Sandra D film led to the TV series that made Sally Field a star. Is that it? Anyone? Musical about blondes in which Marilyn Monroe, as Lorelei Lee, asked, Is this the way to Europe, France? Player two. That's right. It's your turn, player two. Children's literature. For 200, please. Audrey Wood and David Shannon's book about this great big logger introduces his wife and kids. children's literature. For 400, Alex. Stan and Jan Berenstain have written a series of books about a family of these title animals. Player one. Well done, yes. Player one, what'll it be? Jane Alexander had an unbilled role as Matthew Broderick's mother in this Civil War epic. Player two. 
That's right. Player two, you choose. Let's go for men behaving badly. For 400, please. In an 1804 duel, Aaron Burr shot this man who had insulted him. Player three. You're correct. Okay, player three. Men behaving badly. For 600, please, Alex. During a UN assembly session in 1960, this Soviet premier banged his shoe on a desk. Nobody? Men behaving badly. For 800, please. This public enemy number one bragged that he had escaped from jail using a fake gun carved from wood. Is that it? Anyone? Men behaving badly. For 1,000, Alex. In 1868, George Hull had this fake fossil man buried on an upstate New York farm. Children's Literature for 600. Kavatika is the last name of the title character of this 1952 E.B. White novel. Player one. That's right. Player one. This character, in a book by Saint Exupéry, leaves his tiny planet because of a prideful flower. Player two? Right you are. And now to finish off the round. Answer, the Daily Double. Player two, your wager, please. The cut paper illustrations of Golem earned David Wisniewski this medal. Player two? Definitely. That's the end of the double jeopardy round. Let's check out the scores. You've got the lead going into final jeopardy, player two. You're still in the thick of it, player three. Player one, don't count yourself out just yet. All right, now it's time for Final Jeopardy. I'll show you the category and give you a few seconds to think about your wager. The Final Jeopardy category is... U.S. Military. Player one, please make your wager. Player three, could we have your wager, please? Player two, your wager, please. This group that first met in 1942 didn't get a permanent chairman until 1949. Player one.
Layer three. Layer two. All right, let's see how everyone did. Layer one, your question. Oh, sorry, that's incorrect. How much did it cost you? Layer three, your question. Sorry, that's wrong. How much did it cost you? Layer two, your question. Sorry, that's incorrect. How much did it cost you? Here's what we were looking for. Our big winner, player two. Thanks for playing Jeopardy. Hope you had a good time. So long, everybody.